What's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe here. Now, you see this guy in front of you is uh, Jason Russell, the guy that co-founded the Invisible Kids organization, the guy that did the video of uh, Coney tw 2012. Now, this guy got caught masturbating under the influence and vandalism. Now, how does this man walk away from three charges when he did all that see this is where it gets stupid where people that's got money can get away this man's supposed to like for real though this month this motherfucker got away with with this shit i don't know how in the hell does this motherfucker get away of just beating his meat public vandalizing somebody's car and sitting up there under the influence out in fucking john q public and get away with this shit to me i think it's fucked up I think it's very fucked up that this man gets can get away with this shit, man. For real, I, I just don't get it, man, how people with money can get away with so much and they can do so much damage. This man can break into a bank and steal all the money in the all the money is in the bank, and they won't charge him for it. He can scam. Well, he already scammed people with that donation bullshit on the Coney 2012. I tell you this, man, there's people, you know the reason why the people from Africa came over here to speak? It's because they wanted to tell everybody he's been lying to people that this Con Joseph Coney fella, this shit happened way back in the day, and they got probably either got him or they looking for him still. But they are saying that he, that this uh, Jason Russell fucker has been scamming people. To me, that's like a fourth charge, but he's never going to get charged for because he was smart enough to fuck with people. Oh, I'm just doing it to help out a kid in Africa. How does this man get away from jacking off? I'm telling you, man. Pee Wee Herman got in trouble for beating his meat in the fucking theater, for, on the porno theater. How does that fucking work? He's been, what, seven, two or three, five years in prison. He ain't doing jail time. This Jason Russell ain't doing jail time. How the fuck does that work? Where Pee Wee Herman goes to jail for beating his meat in the fucking theater to this guy Jason Russell beating his meat in public. It doesn't make no sense that this guy can get away from beating his meat and vandalizing somebody's car and and drunk off his ass, man. To me, it's, it's, it's fucked up, man. I, I just don't get it how fuckers like him can get away with it. Can, can get away with that shit. I don't give a fuck if he studied down here in Tennessee. I don't give a fuck if he met the president five or six times. I don't give a fuck if he fucked J-Lo and got her knocked up 12 times. I don't give two shits of, of a flying fuck about this motherfucker. What he did was wrong. What he did was unnecessary. And I think he should be punished. Doesn't matter if he's got money or not. He Everybody is created equal. Even if they got money or not, they should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. He shouldn't be walking away from three charges because of what? He's got money in his pocket? Yeah, from skimming people from donations, yeah. Y'all can say, well, he worked for that no, He worked for that money. No, he scammed for that money. Quit saying people, quit saying that shit. People work hard for that money. That's why they're rich. Why don't you say that to Donald Trump's kids? Why don't you say that to his kids? His kids was born into money. They didn't work for that money. He was they was born into money. Second thing is, why don't you say that to Willow Smith and Jaden Smith? They was born into money. Before Jaden start doing the Karate Kid, and before Willow start doing that video, and what my hair speaking for? So what my hair speaking for? That was born into money. Now this motherfucker, he was he scammed for money. That's some bullshit that motherfuckers want to take up for him. He worked hard for his money. Yeah, I ain't no scamming people out of me and millions of dollars. Do a damn donation was working hard for the money. I think that was easy money right there. He didn't work hard. I 
I'm telling y'all, man, my motherfuckers today make me so sick that they can get away with fucking everything just because they got the money. And these damn judges are letting them fuckers slide. How does he fucking slide from three charges? Because he slipped him a little couple of green. I ain't talking about reef either. I'm talking about that paper. Y'all need to wake up and realize, man, that not every rich person, not every fucking famous person is going to be, be like us. They're going to scam. They're going to fuck with people. They're going to fuck over people. They're going to do what they want to do just to get, just to have some paper. This motherfucker fucked everybody over in the fucking country, in two countries, and got away with it. He's been beating his meat in public, and, 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 and this motherfucker's walking the street like ain't shit happened. Let me beat my meat out in the fucking, out in the fucking street some damn well. Then I have my ass up in the damn jail cell getting my ass poked out because I was beating my meat. How come this motherfucker gets away with that shit? I just don't understand that shit. Oh, because he did a video just to help people in Africa. I don't give a damn if he did. I don't give a damn if he did a video for Asian folks, Chinese. Uh, well, Asian is Chinese. Asian folks, people from Africa, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, England, Ireland, and Scotland, Canada, Mexico, uh, Central America, South America. I don't give a damn. But he sat here and did this shit and got away with it. Come on, wake the fuck up, everybody, and pay your fucking attention. I don't need to hold your fucking hand. I do these videos trying to tell y'all something. There's motherfuckers with money getting away with so much shit and y'all ain't like they ain't shit happening. If this motherfucking Jason Russell came out and bust you in your motherfucking head and kicked your ass and killed your mama, would you press charges on it? Guess not. Oh, he had people in Africa. He had people in Africa. And y'all say I'm best supporting his bitch. Hey, what about you, Afro Joe? You did a video about the corner in 2012. I did it because I felt bad for the people in Africa. I didn't do it because of his ass. I didn't do it for this motherfucker. And people sitting up here supporting his ass still because he's still scamming. Beating his meat and everything. I bet when he got on that plane to go to Africa, he was just jerking the shit out of it in there. When he was got there, he was jerking on some fucking... I bet he was fucking one of them damn sex slaves. I bet he met up with Joseph Coney and fucked one of them damn uh, sex slave girls. I bet he did that shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, y'all need to stop letting fuckers like him get away with so damn much, man. Because y'all y'all sitting up there uh, acting like he's he's an angel, he's a godsend and shit. Not everybody is pure. Not everybody is going to be a saint. Not everybody's the same. Just because, like they say in my day, never trust somebody. Never trust somebody with a pretty smile. This motherfucker smiles more than a fucking shisher cat, and he got away with it. Uh, uh, for real though, man. The fucking society today, people are stupid. Okay. Look, y'all need to stop watching the fucking Jersey Shore, The Bachelor. Y'all need to quit sitting up there watching that shit because you're getting dumb as fuck. Turn off your fucking TV. Go outside. Pay attention to what's really going on in life because y'all motherfuckers are getting stupid and stupid by the minute because y'all let these damn reality shows fuck your mind up. This man's out there beating his meat to your kids or something like that. Beating his meat to your wife, your mom. Probably fucking your dog too. Just don't give two shits for a fuck because he helped some people in Africa. I, uh, come on, I just don't understand this shit. I just don't understand. How come I'm sitting up here paying attention to these motherfuckers out there, but y'all motherfuckers are sitting there, but oh, he didn't mean to, mean to my ass. If he didn't mean to, he would never did it. If he didn't mean to, he would never did it. That's all I'm saying. It's just, it, it's fucked up. He, he, he was beating his meat in public. And walked away from three of uh, three charges. Tim Chapman from Dog the Bounty Hunter was beating his meat off in a truck outside of a strip club, and he got arrested in probation and lost his job on A and E. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? 
I just don't get that shit, man. Motherfuckers today, motherfuckers today, though. I just don't get it. Y'all, 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 motherfuckers like him are dick in the booty ass, people. Dick in the fucking booty ass. Wake up, people, man. Ain't nobody gonna be fucking saints. Oh, you ready? Yeah, you know, just lock his ass up. I don't give a damn if he makes 15 documents, documentary movies about saving the world. If he breaks the law, he should be getting his ass thrown in a fucking jail cell like the rest of the motherfuckers. If he smoked weed in front of a police officer in the U.S. and why he was butt-ass naked, that motherfucker need to be in jail. If he sat there and beat a cop's ass on an FBI agent's ass, he needs to be put in jail. There is no special privileges for people who got fucking money. That is unnecessary if they can get away with so much shit. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. I don't get motherfuckers. He can get away with uh, beating his meat in public, keying somebody's car, and sit up there and being toxic in the foot in the neighborhood, why can't he go to jail just like anybody else? I mean, how, how many of your family members went to jail for, for being under influence in a public place? I bet there's a lot of y'all. I bet I bet there's a lot of y'all that have family members that went to jail, got probation, or community service, or spent some months in jail because they was intoxicated in a public place. I bet there's like, if you raise your, if you say, yeah, my family, that happened in my family, something like that, I bet I get a lot of them. I bet he could get a lot of them. Now, if you got a lot of them, why does he go to jail for that shit? I'm telling y'all, man, this is unnecessary, man. Just as, ooh, man, this dude needs to get his ass molly wild, man. Why don't somebody just Debo him? Debo. Debo. Cause I'm, I'm just, ooh, somebody go Chris Brown this motherfucker for real. Somebody go Chris Brown. I'm tell you, man. Somebody go to this motherfucker and just Chris Brown his ass. I ain't gonna pay you. I can tell you this. That's all I need. Somebody needs just to Chris Brown his ass. I ain't making you do it. I ain't forcing you to do it. But somebody needs to Chris Brown his ass. Cause that's unnecessary. This motherfucker can get away with so much. But our ass has got to go through so much hell because this motherfucker's got money in his pocket. Makes no motherfucking sense. Makes no motherfucking sense. That's all that is, too. It makes no motherfucking sense. And this has been Afro Joe, 10 like a is. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass. If you do like what I got to say, leave a video response or a comment. If you... <laughs> And uh, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior 2 and CeeLo Junior 3. And tell me what you think about this dude walking away from three charges. Holla at me.